Hello, I'm Twisty Deceives, and I'm back with my second vlog ever. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about my Netflix addiction. Yes, it's true, I have a Netflix addiction. It's bad. I should be writing most of the time or making awesome films for you guys to watch, but Netflix. It's the only way to describe it. Last night, I was up till 4.30 in the morning watching Netflix. It's a problem. It's just, there's so many great shows on there. There's, uh, there's Supernatural, there's Grey's Anatomy, Stranger Things, Bates Motel, Once Upon a Time, Merlin, Jessica Jones and Daredevil, Marvel, come on, you can't go wrong with Marvel, Arrow and the Flash, well, DC Comics, you know, starting to get up there. A series of unfortunate events, which I recommend that you do not watch, where you have nightmares every night for the rest of your life and live a horrible and very unfortunate existence. The Walking Dead and so many more movies and shows and awesome stuff they cram into, you know, their online little thing. It's, it's, it's amazing, okay? The, the, the wonderful, wonderful things they put on there. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about Netflix, uh, more specifically some of the shows on Netflix. Now, what I've noticed is that most shows that are put on TV and put on Netflix, you know, uh, they are soap operas, okay? They're flat soap operas. Let's be honest, they're soap operas. And uh, something that I've noticed is that a lot of the characters, uh, specifically in the romance department, um, when they portray romance, they usually portray one partner as being someone who is a jerk, uh, you know, the beast, so to speak, the monster, and the other partner has to look through that, has to be the kind one, has to be the person who's standing up and being the angel, you know, while the other's a demon. And what I've noticed is that a lot of people in their social lives have taken on this, have applied this to their lives. For instance, you know, just the other day I was uh, talking to a friend and it, it was very obvious that they were putting on a facade of being this this jerk, basically, this this total total douchebag, in essence, and it it kind of astounded me because they weren't truly that way. They weren't. They were they were completely different than that. They were actually a really nice person, but they put on this mask. And something I realized is that these shows, however poetic they may be, they still cause us uh, to take on characteristics that just aren't us. And because of this, there often is a lot of unnecessary drama in some of our lives. Okay, now drama can be fun. We, we all enjoy a little bit of drama every now and then. But it really does affect us in a bad way sometimes. For instance, she is not the angel, so you can be a demon. He, he is not the angel, so you can be a demon. It, it doesn't work that way. See, it's about being your best self. See, we often think that we fall in love with a person because of the darkness. Well, it's simply not true. We fall in love with someone because we see the light within the darkness. We see the good in people. That's what makes us fall in love with a person. But don't put someone through hell just so you can bring them to heaven. Show them heaven right here, right now. Don't put on a facade of, of being a jerk or or try to be a badass or whatever it is that you want to call it, don't put on that kind of facade. Be you. I want you to be yourself because people are going to love that. People don't like plastic people. They like real people full of emotions, full of wit, full of ideas, not afraid to show their true colors. That's what people love. Yeah, these shows are awesome. They're cool. They really, you know, they really you know, get you going sometimes, and you get wrapped up in these soap operas, basically, but, you know, they're, these are fictional characters. Never try to apply fictional concepts to your actual, real life. It just won't work, because that's fiction, and what we live in is much, much stranger than fiction. Okay, so that's my vlog for tonight. Sorry it took me so long to get them live. If you like that, feel free to... Like, subscribe, comment, whatever, share with your friends, I don't care. You don't want to do any of that, that's also fine with me. Okay, see you guys there.